James Harden is going to join us right now. James, you, you heard us say one assist. <laughs> I mean, that, is that is that not the most important stat of the night? Hey, listen, don't try to make me a selfish player. I'm very, I'm, I'm very, I'm very unselfish. I'm very unselfish. No, we know all about that. We know you're not the black hole. You're always amongst the league leaders and assists. But just talk yeah. about how you were feeling tonight. We saw the 61 back in January against the Knicks, but then you get to do it tonight in front of the home fans. How did that feel? I felt great from the beginning of the game. I was in a attack mode. Uh, my shots was feeling good, and I just tried to keep that rhythm and that pace the entire game, um, you know. They, the Spurs do a really good job of trying to take away um, our perimeter shot. So uh, it was me being in attack mode and being aggressive tonight. Um, they made a, a huge run in that, in that second and third quarter and even in the fourth quarter. And uh, we just tried to keep our tempo, get some stops when we needed to, and I wanted to be aggressive. Well, James, kudos to Let's ASU go, alum. Uh, you know, uh, you know, you you started out really hot, really aggressive. Yeah. You had uh, 12 free throws in the first quarter, yeah. and then. As the game wore on, you seem to have taken a break, and then all of a sudden you say, okay, it's time to turn it back on, and you get 13 straight points uh, in the fourth quarter to bring your team from behind. And I just wonder, how does it feel when you get in that zone like that and you know can't nobody guard you because everything you throw up is going in? You know what? I'm always in that zone. It's just uh, I, I got a conscience in the back of my head to, to get my teammates involved. And so, you know, it wasn't that I was taking a break. I was just trying to figure ways to get them shots and get them going a little bit because at the end of the day, I'm going to need them. Uh, and so that little break in between the second and third quarter, um, you know, Eric made some shots. CP was aggressive. Uh, guys were getting into their rhythm. And then I see me kind of like bogged down a little bit. So in the fourth quarter, I had to be aggressive and take my shots. James, I got to watch you a couple years up close, uh, yeah. up pers Rest in person. Say, there in, yeah. in Tempe. Could you have ever imagined uh, at 18, 19, 20 years old um, scoring the most points ever against a Greg Popovich coach team? No, nah, no, no, not in a million years, not in a million years. But, you know, Rex, I work every single day. I work every single day to be the best that I can be, you know, and uh, I'm, even nights or days where I don't want to get up or I'm tired or whatever the case may be. Because honestly, like I got a chance to, to be one of the, you know, the best players to ever touch a basketball. You know, as a kid, that's something you dream of. And so uh, that's the mindset. And that's when I wake up every single day and, um, and go get it. So far this season, you have eight games where you scored 50 or more, the most since Kobe Bryant did it back in 06, 07. Do, do you take a moment and pinch yourself or smell the roses, per se, and, and, and be in the moment and, and realize what you're doing from a historical perspective? No, I don't have time for it. You know, these numbers are great, you know, but I'm honestly trying to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Um, you know, we have a bigger goal, and, you know, we can't stop until we reach that goal. So I'm never satisfied, and uh, we got a long way to go. We know how dedicated you are when it comes to playing. When you hear the phrase yeah. load management, what do you think? What, do you, what are your thoughts on that phrase? What is that? Load management. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hooper. I'm a hooper. I love to hoop. I know, I know hooping isn't going to be here forever, so I let her do it. I, I let her get out there and compete. Uh, the best days are when your legs are a little tired, you know, and your shots isn't falling. That's, those are the best days because you got to figure a way to get through it. So, um, I mean, I, I let her go out there and compete and hoop. Coach, of course, we all love your competitive spirit. Right now you're sitting in the three spot in the Western Conference, getting closer to the playoffs. What's the mindset yeah. for the team? What, what, what's, what's the vibe right now in that locker room down in Houston? We're, we're finally healthy, you know, so we just got to catch a rhythm, you know, basically offensively, uh, you know, knowing where, where guys like to be defensively, uh, where our rotations are going to be, uh, what our coverages are. And once we get that rhythm, uh, we have nine days, days to do it, nine games to do it, um, and then we'll take off from there. But uh, I'm, we're excited. 118 points the last two games, but the most important thing is you got the dub. Throw your dubs yeah. up one time. James Harden, thanks for joining us on Game Time. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, man. All right. Of course, James Harden putting on a show, an old school guy. Of course, the stats are, are what everybody looks at, but when you hear him say, all I want to do is win, I don't care about load management, I want to get out there and play even when I'm tired. Coach, you hear that and you say what? I say kudos to him because he is and he's a competitor. He likes to be in the gym and play. He says, even when I'm not feeling as spry as I want to feel, I still want to go out there and hoop. You know, and he and that's a competitor and that's a guy that has passion for this game and and it's it's a good thing to hear and to see and you can tell by the way he plays. You can't go out there and score like he scores and not be in shape and not have your skill set improved daily. Rex, he could have played in your day. Oh yeah. Well he loves the game. He just loves to play. I had a couple teammates I can think of Cedric Sabalos, 
Cliff Robinson, guys who you would come in early and they'd already be in there playing two on two, three on three. They might leave and go play at the Y later on. I mean, just like playing. And James likes playing. You can see it in everything that he does. And, you know, he's a throwback to, to say, what is load management, right? That was Good an awesome him. moment, by the way. Good for him. <laughs> that was an awesome <laughs> moment. The Houston Rockets victorious.